missing uh, a half error out of Dave Watson, which Morgan with a nice dummy on Chamberlain makes the most of. He finds Stewart, and now Pike, and now Goddard, and now Pike again. Driven well, and it was a good move by West Ham. Empty seats in the director's box, normally occupied by the West Ham manager, John Lyle, but he's away today. But it's a throw for West Ham. There's Francois van der Elst. Now Devonshire. Low cross in there, hitting Lampard. Oh, a great strike there by Morgan. And Stoke fortunate to get that one away. Really hit it well after Devonshire played it in, and it came off Lampard there. A lot of power, and it hit Barry, who took the real sting out of it. Just hasn't got going at all, and now let's see what Goddard can do. Chamberlain's already shown that he's got quite a powerful throw. That is a good one. And it very nearly ended up in the back of the net. It was Painter whose header was just wide, but a very deceptive long throw by Mark Chamberlain. Just look at that, the length of it. And it's a slightly different tra trajectory that so often puts defences off and indeed put Painter off as well. Loading it in there, bold, it could be an own goal! <laughs> well, a picture of abject misery, 19-year-old Stephen Bowl, just a handful of first-team games, and it needed something pretty extraordinary to open the scoring here. The ball played long, and he hit it first time, agonizingly over his goalkeeper as he backpedaled into the back of the net. McElroy. And McElroy again. Chamberlain's on his way. He's outstripping Billy Bonds. It could be interesting, this one, and a good save by Parks. He got down quickly, oh, and then threw it away, and the ball just stayed in play. Well, that could have been embarrassing, because he threw the ball almost onto the fallen body of Mark Chamberlain. Smiles now, but it could have been a disaster for West Ham. Parks went down and saved well. And then, as it looked a formality, the clearance almost hit Chamberlain, and Parks was happy to gather it again. Flick in! Oh my goodness, nearly another own goal! And it would have been Stephen Bold again. Goddard coming in, looking up, getting it to the byline, cutting inside, beating Hampton, the little flick there, and there's Stephen Bold again, but this time, no disaster. Ray Stewart. The blinding free kick, just wide. He's the leading goal scorer for West Ham this season. Mind you, eight of his ten uh, goals have come from the penalty spots. Floated toward Morgan and a good save. Well, Nicky Morgan has made some 18 league appearances. He's scored a couple of league goals, none of them this season, but he was denied by Peter Fox there playing it in towards Goddard. It looked like a handball, but it was a purely accidental one. And Hampton finds Chamberlain. Now, he might be able to stretch his legs. He's got Mickey Thomas there supporting him. Tremendous pace of Chamberlain. The cross comes in, and I thought for a moment it might. Bracewell miscued badly. Griffiths, and he kicked off the line. And in the end, it's gone in. The deflection off Mickey Thomas. After Painter had struck the shot, and between them, they have contrived an equaliser for Stoke City. 
great pace again here by Chamberlain. It looked as though Bracewell had a great chance there, but he miscued badly. The shot was, in fact, hit the post there. And just flicked in by Mickey Thomas. And Morgan to Mike. Nicky Morgan again up well, but got out offside. A brilliant goal, but it won't count. Good not on there by Nicky Morgan in the first place. But the flag was up in good time, in fairness to the linesman. Good jump there by Morgan. Acrobatics by Goddard, but all in vain. Chamberlain. It's a quiver of anticipation every time this fellow gets the ball, and a quiver of anxiety in that West Ham defence. Now finds Griffiths the substitute. A little chip in. And McElroy maybe. And somehow it was deflected away when McElroy looked as though he would be sure to put Stoke in front. Good work by Lampard. McElroy there must have thought it was on. The deflection came from Lampard. Well, there's McElroy's header, but that was comfortable for Parks. <laughs> Devonshire. Oh, good bit of play by Goddard. Now, can he find something here? That's a good cross. There's nobody at the far side. Pike coming out quickly. Morgan with the header. And the save by Fox. Good work by these three West Ham players. Goddard in the first place. Pike did well to pull it back because it was a delicate little chip. And Goddard got on the end of it. And the keeper saved well. Stephen Bowles. Another high one into the stand another throw for West Ham a few more seconds are left but not many and the crowd want West Ham to get on with it well will they snatch something right at the last no McElroy's header gets it clear and the game finishes in a 1-1 draw no goal by Stephen Bold putting West Ham into the lead and then Mickey Thomas getting the touch that made it 1-1 Bold goes off a mixed afternoon for him and the final score then here at Upton Park, it's West Ham 1, Stoke